All right, guys, today we're down here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Indianapolis, Indiana, right in the heart of the Eclipse 2024. And we're about to show you how it looks when this place goes black. <gasps> Where's your head? It's the Indianapolis Motor Speedway 2024. Eclipse, Eclipse totality? Totality. Look at that sign, but don't really look at it unless you have glasses on. Brace yourself. The sun is out, the skies are blue, and it's looking like perfect conditions for an eclipse. Or, as the managers would say, <laughs> wicked good weather. send up the weather balloon. It's going to take pictures of the eclipse from up in the stratosphere. All right, let it go, buddy. I'm ready for some action here. <laughs> video we know you do make sure to uh, subscribe if you don't already give us a little comment we love the feedback Brent reads them all he responds to them all but give it a like
Texas, where they have hit full totality. Darkness. Where's the snipes? So we're here hanging out amongst the people, and Grace says, Would you take a video of me flossing so I'm the so whole world can it. see? Uh, yeah. That's, that's how you do it. I'm, it's, <laughs> it's like if you took that. Uh, floppy guy from the used car lots and yeah that guy and then made him floss then that that's would be me. it yeah that's me there's a lot of more flow to your floss than there you go you're kind of hulaing there we go <laughs> as you can see I wish you loved me as you can see here through this video we're the only people that had this idea today to come out here to the track uh, we found ourselves a corner where there weren't many people around, but as you wander this place, there they were calling for 50,000 people, and it wouldn't surprise me if they get there because the stands are mostly full. The outside here is mostly full. The only thing that we'll complain about today so far is that they've not done a great job of preparing with food and drinks for people because there's like. To know, be fair, you are allowed to bring your own. That's true. You can bring your own cooler with food and drinks in, but like, there's, I think we've seen four food trucks and maybe... Six food stands? Yeah, like maybe 12 lines. You're good. Maybe 12 or so lines of places where you can go get food. And with 60,000 people or so that might be here. That's a little on the lacking side. They're more prepared for like the 500 in the brickyard. Yeah. But they should have felt like once in a lifetime thing, be prepared. Yeah. I mean, we're not complaining because we brought a full cooler full of yep. drinks. And a thermos. Batty juices even. and such. So we're fine. But uh, some other people have been, we've seen standing in line for a long, long I time. I did wait in line to try free vodka. That's true. You did. So I know that I keep showing video of the sun without our things on, thinking like, oh, this would be a great video. But you like, can't tell unless you can't really you have... see anything, even with the phone. But I'm going to throw on the glasses here real quick and show you what time do we have right now, babe? It is 2.49. 2.49. Uh, totality is supposed to be at 3.08. 25 minutes. So, 3.06. Yeah, 3.06. So About we're 25 at, minutes away. Oh, we're... Man, you can't really see much through that either. That's odd. Are you using the right lens? You've got three little cameras on Yeah, there. I gotta figure out which lens we're going on. Which one is which? Since you have four different camera lenses. So we're struggling at this point to get the camera to focus the way that we want it to. But I don't know if you can tell, probably can't tell just by this camera, but like it's gotten progressively darker. Like it's, it's eerie because it's not like it's normal, like, oh, it's getting, the sun's going down, it's getting ready to set. It's like somebody turned out, the, the they put the dimmer switch on. So as you can see, there's, people i kind of wish that we would have gotten in a spot where there were where we were like amongst the millions only just because it would have been a better picture to take yeah i agree but like everybody as far as the eye can see is looking up at it right now so we're figuring out right now that it's there's got to be some sort of setting yeah the camera is not really wanting to see what we're wanting it to when we put them down the glasses stuff over the top of it but it is showing us a second sun which is sort of uh, super manny uh, and terrifying right now. <laughs>
is literally. This is liter. Oh, good. This is literally three minutes after we did it the last time. Uh, it's complete coronal darkness. And again, about four minutes of totality here. Hang tight, keep those glasses on outside. Hang tight. We're getting closer. And we've almost reached it. And there you go. My goodness. My good. I, I don't. I don't have any words. <laughs> Well, I think we're about ready to cry here, Sean, oh, at wow. the Indiana State Fairgrounds. This is a tremendous sight, and Lindsay, compared to 2017, to me, we can see it better. It is cooler. I mean, this is yes. absolutely nighttime here now. It's like a cold front just hit us in the face. Right. And what this crowd is doing, they are cheering. Mm -hmm. Everyone is so excited about this moment that we've anticipated for right. years for here in years. Indianapolis. And you know, as we get window. closer to totality, Lindsay, uh, that means that there will be more planets that may be so. uh, viewable in the sky. We can already see a couple of right now. Yes, if you're looking up into this darkening sky, you potentially could see Jupiter uh -huh. and Mercury. And Mercury. Yes, and as Matt Stanbridge pointed out to us, potentially we could see a comet if we look close and it gets dark enough. We had this um, kind of roar when it first happened, and now people are quiet yes. and taking it in because this is something that's the beauty of creation, folks, and it is a an awe-inspiring event and feel this cool air moving yes. in, Lindsay. We're gonna take just a couple minutes here. All right. And we're going to let everyone just enjoy this yeah. inside. Here we go. Angela Buckman is currently at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and uh, Ange, we're here with a lot of families and a lot of people from around the country. You are there with 50,000 people. What's the reaction to this incredible once in a lifetime event? The best way I can describe it is when they do start your engines on race day. There was a roar of the crowd when it started to get dark. I was curious if it was, if everyone would get quiet or, or what they would do, but it was this thunderous applause as it got dark. It's a little quieter now, but it is interesting to see some of the lights of the pagoda come on. And I'll tell you, it reminds me of race morning when we're all here at four, five, six in the morning before the sun even comes up. It kind of has that feel. Uh, if you've never been out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, before the sun comes up, it is a magical experience. Wow. And I would say that's how it feels right now. And, and I don't know if you're taking our live pictures or not, but they, actually there are some of the, um, of the lights on. <laughs> and I don't know, you, you, you can on. hear Glasses the roar of crowd as well as we start to get out of uh, totality. I don't want to take all the time, so I'm going to toss it over to Matt Standridge. Hey, Matt. Hey, Angela, the diamond ring is back. The sun's coming back, crazy that the moon was just in the right position of all the space to block the sun. Everyone is still cheering because they got to see that diamond ring. If you look off in the distance, the horizon's coming back. People are clapping, people are cheering. What a cool moment. Everyone is just looking up. Three in the afternoon really can't see how dark it is. It's right 
really awesome.